what we did in this research is we looked at the eastern part of Antarctica, which is known as the East Antarctic Ice Sheet. And the reason we looked at East Antarctica is that it's by far the world's largest ice sheet. It's this giant of ice that covers most of Antarctica. It's so big that it's about four kilometers thick in places, and it stores about 52 meters of sea level rise. So if it all disappeared overnight, sea level would be 52 meters higher in the morning, which is quite alarming. That's not going to happen. But what we were interested in is how stable is the East Antarctic ice sheet? Because for a long time, scientists have thought that compared to West Antarctica, compared to Greenland, this ice sheet is more stable, it's less vulnerable. Perhaps we don't need to worry so much about it in a warming climate. But in this research, we looked at times in the past when climate was just a little bit warmer than present. And we looked at the response of the East Antarctic ice sheet and we found that it retreated. And in some cases it retreated quite dramatically perhaps contributing somewhere between five and 10 meters to sea level. So there's lessons from the past that tell us that East Antarctica might not be as stable as scientists think. We also looked at satellite observations of where the ice sheet has changed over the last few decades. And again, there were some quite alarming signs because whilst most of the ice sheet seems to be quite stable, there are some parts that appear to be thinning and retreating and contributing to sea level rise, just like West Antarctica and Greenland are. And although it's only a part of East Antarctica, because the ice sheet's so big, it's a part we need to worry about because some of these catchments contain maybe three or four meters of sea level rise just within them. And perhaps the most important part of this research is that we looked at computer model simulations of the ice sheet over the next few centuries. And that was both encouraging, but also quite alarming. Because what it showed was that the future evolution or the stability of the East Antarctic ice sheet is really sensitive to the emission scenario. So what we found is that under low emission scenarios, particularly scenarios that would see us meet the Paris climate target of about two degrees or ideally 1.5 degrees, above pre-industrial values. If we, can, if we can kind of keep our emissions to that temperature target, it looks like the East Antarctic ice sheet will remain intact and will be quite stable over the next few centuries. Perhaps more alarmingly though, was that when we ran the computer models and we looked at the sea level contribution from East Antarctica under a higher emission scenario, under emission scenarios that exceed the Paris Climate Agreement, we start to see several meters of sea level rise. In fact, we could see up to five meters of sea level rise by 2500. So what this tells us is that there's an ice sheet there that at the moment is relatively stable, that it will stay stable if we stick to the Paris Climate Agreement, but if, the, if we exceed that target, we could see some quite alarming contributions to sea level. And that would be in addition to the contributions that will be made by Greenland and West Antarctic ice sheet. So one of the key conclusions from this research is that we still have this very narrow window to try and meet the Paris Climate Agreement and to protect the world's largest ice sheet. And so in that sense, the fate of the world's largest ice sheet is still in our hands.